we go. Passing 700 feet, we got a config gear. No auto land as well has come up because you can't land without a landing gear. Hi guys, how are you? Uh, nice Saturday today, I'm in the simulator. I'll be doing a check flight on two new first officers qualifying on the 747. But before that, I came in very quickly to show you this. Remember I showed you the um, configuration warning for takeoff, uh, where, where I talked about the uh, park brake being set or the body gear steering not correct, the um, stabilizer trim or the flaps not in the correct position for takeoff and you get a configuration warning. Now for landing, we also have configuration warnings for landing. I'm in this Boeing 747-400 simulator today and I'll show you a couple of the landing configuration warnings that you would get if the configuration wasn't right. You should, you should never ever be in that position anyway because our procedures, for example, in Cathay Pacific indicate and stipulate that we should be fully configured by 1,000 feet. Everything should have been done. The flaps, gear, landing checklist, everything completely done, the speed in the right place by 1,000 feet. If it isn't, we do a go around, even if it's a nice day and you could correct it by 700 feet, say. We still do a go around, come back, regroup, and do a second approach. That's the procedures. That's what's required. I'm coming into Hong Kong. I've put it on 25 left ILS. We're established on the ILS here. There's the localizer green captured, glide slope green captured. Speed is being controlled by the auto throttle. And there's the glide slope and there's the localizer diamonds. So we're on flap 20 speed, just coming onto it. And we're nicely on approach on a nice day coming into Hong Kong. Looking out here, there's Lantau Island on the left, Discovery Bay there. And uh, just over there somewhere is um, Penny's Bay as well and that kind of stuff just to the left behind the screen there okay and over to the right there you can see the other side of hong kong and landing let's say the pilots in this case not center two five left runway is over there this one center is over there so we're going in two five left we've just passed 1500 feet we've got our land three roll out arm flare arm so over here the gear is not down as you can see we've got flaps 20 no smoking on auto brakes speed brake arm. The flaps should be at 25 or 30 for landing. 1,000. But the guys have forgotten that and they've forgotten to lower the gear as well. We've just passed 1,000 feet. So let's see what happens. There you go. Passing 700 feet, we got a config gear. No auto land as well has come up because you can't land without a landing gear. So it's come up config gear, no auto land. So these pilots just continue going. 500. For some reason. Too low gear. Too low gear. Okay. And it tells us too low gear. And it's told us. Too exactly. low gear. Too low gear. There you go. Too low gear. Too low gear. Again. Too low gear. These guys are still going down. Too low. Gear. Ignoring completely too the low, too low gear. gear. See? Too low gear. Passing 100 too low, feet. Gear. Too low gear. Too low gear. Too low gear. 50. Too. <laughs> okay, so I've just stopped the simulator just to show you what would actually happen. The aeroplane would continue until, of course, it landed on the runway with the gear up and the pilots ignored every single bit of the warnings on the approach. You'd have to be totally careless to do that. So in general, in Cathay Pacific, we carry out a go around at a thousand feet if we don't have the flaps or the gear in the right configuration. So in this case, it was the landing gear, but the flaps as well will also give you too low flap, too low flap if you forgot the flaps completely and you come on the approach to try and land the aircraft.